Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I'm going to talk about estrogen dominance tonight, what that is, what that means. Um, I just started, it's May 1st, it's a Monday, and just started a new group today, so really, really excited for the ladies that are joined that, yay! Um, when we talk about estrogen dominance, there's going to be some really important things that I cover that you're going to be like, oh my god, I did not know that, hmm... Um, another really, really fun thing is that I have a new cookbook ready for you. So this cookbook, hi Katie, this cookbook is formulated specifically for women. Now there are recipes in there, of course, that are great for men, for kids, for all this stuff, breakfast, lunch, dinners, healthy snacks, high protein, clean, all these things, right? But it is separated for you and your hormones. So it lists what meals to eat if you're like, oh, I'm in this phase of my cycle. Hmm, I want a healthy snack. What should I have? Flip to the healthy snack section. Boom, you have a good meal for you right there. So super easy, fast way to get some healthy, clean meals in and work with your hormones and your cycle at the same time. Who doesn't love that? So really, really excited about it. Um, there's something I was going through a bunch of recipes because I love playing around with recipes and tweaking them to really work with your hormones. And I was like, oh, I have these recipes. And then looking at, oh, look, I have more. Oh, oh, look, I have been collecting these recipes for a really long time. Mmm, I have a lot more of them than I thought I did. Guess I'll put them all together in a book and there you go. <laughs> yes, because more is better when you're talking about recipes. More is much better. More is better. Yes. So, when we talk about estrogen dominance, and this is going to be something that's also helpful for um, really finding the right meals for you, the right nutrition, really working with your body. Again, this is all for my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, where we talk about meals and, and nutrition that really matches with your body. So your body shifts and changes. So I'm going to cover that for women, um, hormone changes that happen you know, throughout the month, every week, things kind of shift and change, and then how you can match that with food to work with your body and have the best results possible. So I talk a lot about, um, you know, hormones and everything and, and how this looks. So we're going to go through what is the typical normal here, right? So first couple of weeks here, your body is a lot higher in estrogen, right? Estrogen. That's a normal, oh, you still have estrogen here. Sorry, I'm not an artist. I'm not an artist, so we're gonna, you're gonna have to bear with me. Bear with me. I wish I had a bear pun right now. Just kidding, okay. Only a little bit. Okay, so day one is the first day of your period. Day 14 is about when you ovulate. Day 28 is when it would end and start all over again. So this is the normal-ish phase. Again, not everybody is the same. Everybody's different. It can look different week or month to month if you're under stress, if you get sick, you know, all these other things. It can make it different. So just kind of realize that, but this is supposed to be the normal one right here. Um, but again, it, it, it's not that everybody's textbook, right? But generally, this is what we're looking at. So estrogen is supposed to be, you know, dominant here in the first couple of weeks and then progesterone here in the second couple of weeks. So the cookbook I have actually has everything separate out and color coded. So you're like, oh, where am I at? I want to have a delicious healthy meal. Where am I at? Boom, I'm here. Here we go. I'll choose something here. Oh, I'm over here. Oh, I'm going to have a different healthy meal. Woo! Super easy then. Now, when we talk about estrogen dominance, the trouble is, is that these hormones are shifting in a different way, and it can look really different. So, and it comes with, of course, a multitude of symptoms that can be different. And oh, are, you, are you teaching, too, about estrogen dominance? This is Azalea. She's, yeah. You're gonna, we're going to talk about estrogen dominance, babe. Wait, did I point? You're going to point? You want to point for me? Okay, then stand right here. So stand right here and you wait and I'll have you point in just a minute, okay? Yeah. I'll, I'll show you. So right now we're just going to talk about estrogen dominance and some of the symptoms that people have with estrogen dominance. What's the red for? The red, is, the red stands for progesterone. But that's a good point. That's an excellent point. What I'll is, write progesterone on there. This is standing for progesterone. What does the blue mean? The blue means estrogen. The blue means estrogen. Estrogen is the blue. So there we go. So, but excellent point. Thank you so much. So estrogen, progesterone, when we talk about estrogen dominance, a lot of people think, oh, this is just a uh, huge influx of estrogen. 
but it can look a little different for each gal. So, no, no, remember you're just gonna do the pointing now. So, the biggest thing is that for the estrogen dominance, the symptoms are gonna be a, like far, fast, and wide. It's really tough to pinpoint for women. I'm tired, I'm fatigued, I have weight gain, I have thyroid issues, I have brain fog, da 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 da, what's wrong with me, my cycle's all messed up, blah, you know. And it, you could be going in a bazillion different directions, looking for all these other things, right? When really it comes down to this thing where you're like, oh my gosh, if you read off all the things that are estrogen dominance, you're like, oh, that is me. That is totally me. I am estrogen dominant. There we go. Mm -hmm. Estrogen dominance doesn't mean that estrogen takes over all the time. It can. I know. It's a long word. You're right, baby. It's a long word. Estrogen dominance means that it can be, ooh, that made a funny jagged, jagged mark there, and that it can be higher here, and then it doesn't come down as far. It can come, see, baby, can you move over? Can you point here? Because they have to see it, see? They have to see it here. Yep. Or it can be too low, but then it just takes over still too. So the problem is, is that because this is, the start of your cycle here is where all your hormones reset. So this here is the reset point where everything kind of gets tabled out and washed out at like, and resets at zero. So I'm just going to write reset because it's supposed to be a reset here where everything just starts from scratch. But if you have these underlying hormone issues going on, all of a sudden estrogen ramps up here, either too big, still comes down but it's higher here, or it just is like ooh, coming on, then your progesterone, as it's coming in, never gets a chance. You know, th these are just examples, right? This is not always going to be like this, or it'll come up and it's just not, you know, either way, progesterone ends up being, or it can be something that doesn't come on and then comes on like this at the end. Can I have you scooch over, kiddo, because they need to see this. So this is either going to be that it doesn't come up at all. This is one, two, or three. So overall, though, when you're looking at the span of the month, can you point to the entire month? The 28, that's the 28 days, yeah. When you're looking at the entire span of the month, you can see clearly that the space that the blue takes up is much more than the space that the red takes up, which means that even though it might be lower here, it takes up more time here. See if you're going to follow this pattern. It takes up more time here with the blue before the red spike. So that means you'd be estrogen dominant there. Or here, clearly estrogen dominant here before you come over here. That's an imbalance in the hormones that creates a lot of issues and problems. Yes, sweet pea. Um, mm -hmm. Are you going to talk about vines? Veins? Do you, well, I wasn't going to talk about veins today, but do you want, do you want to show people the like what you mean? She's the veins and the skin. Yeah. Hey, Mama? Yes, sweetie. Is there a helium voice? No, there's no helium voice on this. She's talking about the app Marco Polo where they have a helium voice you can change voices. I know they do have different There's a robot voice. Yes, there's a ro there's a robot voice. Yes. Mhm. Mm <laughs> but for right now, are you going to help? Uh-huh. Okay. So estrogen dominance, this is the normal, this is the estrogen dominance here that creates all this hormonal imbalance. So for gals that have stress, um, have had other uh, medications or birth controls or things like that where your hormones get offset, then you get this huge influx or the hormones do something different at the end here. It's not a normal pattern. The normal pattern is where you have an even keel and you go through this ebb and flow of estrogen progesterone. Progesterone balances out the estrogen. When you don't have this progesterone creating a strong presence here, it doesn't balance out the estrogen. So this kind of bleeps at the end or just, you know, it's not as strong here. Then when it starts over, even though your body's trying to reset, the same thing happens again, the same thing happens again. That's where the trouble of estrogen dominance comes in. So how you deal with that is one, focus on really taking down, if you do have a lot of built up estrogen in the body, taking that down. You can do some um, fat cell cleansing because a lot of times estrogen can get stored in fat cells. So that's one, one way of doing it. Let me write this down. Um, I don't know. Those are just different things. So one to deal with this would be the fat cell cleansing. 
fat cell cleanse. That would be one thing to take to really work on there. And then the other thing would be eating for your hormones. So I just call that nutrition, um, nutrition matching. Nutrition, nutrition matching match. for, for hormones. It yeah. On match. Very it good. Mm -hmm. She's reading it to you. So. Those, these two components here, come here kiddo, these two components are really essential because you're going to be doing two different things. One, if you're just trying to balance it out for nutrition for your hormones, that's great, but a lot of times if there's built up hormone in your body, you're not flushing it out. So you need to flush it out with a fat cell cleanse and then two, add in the nutrition matching for your hormones to really have this, this entire phase here start to look like this. Start have <laughs> this look like this. Then your hormones are going to be balanced. Then they're going to be more even, and you're not going to have all these other issues going along with all the hormones. Look like this. Mm-hmm. Do you want to stand over here and do it? This look like this. No. Okay. So you turn around. Turn around. Yep. You want to make this look like this. No, we're not going to erase it. Can you come stand right here? Can you come stand right here? Mm -hmm. I want to be warm. You want to be warm. Okay. So that's the biggest thing with the nutrition, um, with everything with estrogen dominance. And it can be really... <laughs> It can be really, really tough to pinpoint. There's things. This is a snuggle bomb. Thank you for the snuggle bomb. Oh, thank you. Yes. Snuggle bomb isn't a giant hug. Snuggle bomb is not a giant hug. It's a snuggle bomb. Snuggle bomb is where you go like Can you go give Papa a snuggle bomb? Can you go give Papa a snuggle bomb? But I'm in the. But I'm. But I'm in the pool. Okay. Snuggling. You're okay. So, can I finish talking about estrogen dominance? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. So, estrogen dominance can be really tough to pinpoint. You can be struggling with it for a long time. There can be a lot of other hormonal issues going on. At the same time, you can feel really frustrated and not really know mm -hmm. what's going on for a while and feel like you've chased a lot of things down different paths before you come to the realization that your hormones are really off and they're all connected. Yes. Um, <laughs> the next fan away. Yes, somebody pressed a like button so it pops across the screen. But so, um, so I'm gonna have you stand. I'm gonna have you stand over here, kiddo. Hey, I'm gonna go through this one more time, quick summary, and then we'll be done. Okay, there. Okay. So estrogen dominance. This is the normal estrogen progesterone in balance here because the progesterone helps to keep the estrogen regulated. Not normal is when your body tries to reset during your cycle. Hold on. When your body tries to reset during your cycle, the estrogen still comes up more dominant here, not allowing the progesterone to come on fully to keep the estrogen in check. So two things to really work on your estrogen dominance is, one is the fat cell cleanse. Can you point to this one? Fat cell cleanse. And then nutrition matching for your hormones. So... If you guys have questions on this, I can talk about this more and the intricacies of estrogen dominance because it does look different for different people. Um, you can message me. You can comment below. If you found this information helpful, even though I have a helper here right now, um, you can click the share button. Oh, but don't make faces. No, no one wants to. No, no one wants to see that. If, yes, it's good information for people to know. And Mama. if you are interested in getting more recipes that are easy to follow for hormone matching, you can click the link and Mama. pick up my cookbook, which is now expanded with like boatload, I don't even know, 90 recipes, 80 some recipes, I think. Mama. There's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot. A Can lot. Maybe know. more. Maybe there's over 100. I can't remember now. This phone? Anyway. This way? Um, Amy's asking, what is a fat cell cleanse? Ooh, good question, Amy. I'll message you about that because this is Who's Amy? This is getting long. See, there's it pops up when somebody asks a question. The, Amy okay. West Fat. <laughs> <really looking> close. 
Okay. All right. We're gonna we're gonna say good night because it's gonna be time to brush teeth and get ready for bed. Can you say good night? Now we're gonna get silly. Now we're gonna get silly. <laughs> All right. Everybody have a great night. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will tell you guys all tomorrow. We're gonna cover. Um, yeah, I guess Katie. Oh, otherwise, we're gonna cover more info tomorrow. Okay. I see. Oh God.